Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we'll show you how to remove and replace the whole shifter assembly on BMW E46. We don't talk about the knob only, we have the video about the knob, the leather boot, the trim on our channel as well, but we'll show you today how to do the whole deal. Check it out guys, many videos on our channel about E46, also on our main channel World Mechanics, we have amazing ZHP that we're building there, check it out. And many more videos to come soon, thank you for watching. Okay guys, what we need to do next, you need to put the car in neutral. It needs to be neutral so the shifting levers point straight up. It's important not to twist now left or right, we're going to pull straight up. You need to press that button on the phone while you're pulling. If um, it might be really stuck, so two people might be needed for the job, okay? The more you remove it, the easier it's gonna come out, to be honest with you. Okay, that's the shifter now there, out of the way now. Next, we'll need to get a little prying tool, okay, or you can use a screwdriver with electrical tape around it, okay, just something like this one, and you need to carefully, gently pry the trim out of there, okay, because that thing, that thing is breakable, okay, and next, okay, we're going to pull it out, hold on now, we have the wires here that are very short, so we need to go ahead and disconnect these wires, Okay, so those go in, if you grab them on the plastic, never pull on the wires, okay, and if you pull with hard, it's gonna come out, okay, one is out, second one is out, okay, just like that one now, and here we have another one that we will need to disconnect as well, there is one little tube that's holding there in the middle, okay, so we just pry it out of there, okay, like that, and it's out of here now. Next, with a fuel screwdriver, we have two screws here that we will need to remove. Okay, almost out. And quite a few videos coming on that E46, guys. And check out World Mechanics, guys. It's growing crazy fast thanks to you and all the positive support we had so far. Okay, and now we're going to pry that thing up. Okay, so with the, okay, you can see with the prying tool, we're just going to pry it up. Okay, right there, and now we need to disconnect the wires here. There is a few wires, two, uh, one on this side, one on the other. Okay, this is for the switches. Okay, so how you remove this one? You squish in on both sides and pull it out. This one here, you press in here on both sides and pull the thing out again. Next we need to remove that one with the same prying tool here. You just go on the side, okay, and pry it open like that. It comes out of there, okay guys. And now we have two screws on the bottom that we need to go ahead and remove all the way, take them off. Okay, and this one there as well. Okay, and now what you need to do, you need to grab and pull it up. Mm -hmm. And here we have two screws, okay? So don't pull up yet, I almost forgot about those. So we need to go ahead and remove those as well. That's why we need to remove that uh, storage compartment there. Okay, and this one here too. So now we can just grab it and pull it up. Now we need to shift to uh, drive, okay? You need to make sure you shift to drive. And here it is, out of there now. Next we need to disconnect the wires here. So you need to pull on the black one, okay? Try to avoid pulling on the wires. Just grab the black thing. This one will press in, pull out. Okay, like that. And we're going to disconnect this one as well. The lighter here. It's super easy, you just pull it out. Cannot confuse those. Okay, next we need to disconnect the wires. We pull them out of there. Okay, and now you can see that little, little 
two that's holding there okay it needs to jump so be careful not to break it just help it a little bit okay like that so we disconnected the wires now we need to pull that spring there okay it comes up like that next we'll need to use the t30 torx 30 remove remove three screws okay one here now also we will need a 10 millimeter socket now so we can remove that uh, that bolt out of there we're gonna go pick this one up and it's very important to uh, carefully disconnect the the, uh, the the cable now because sometimes those are breakable okay make sure you don't drop it lose it okay guys this is way to do that to be honest with you is to remove the cable from the transmission and pull it out with the with the cable and by assembly with the cable we will show you how to remove the cable only we will cover that but sometimes you can break it it's i mean it's doable if you've done it quite a few times so stay with us and we'll try to do it now okay we will need a t9 start looking a little bit to remove that screw here and we will also need to remove one more okay this one right here that holder so we need to go ahead and remove this one as well i told you it's not easy you see why it will take quite a bit of messing with it okay now we can pull that plastic cover out okay the cable is connected to it so just pull the cable out of there okay everything is good now what we need to do next guys we need to pull that rubber rubber off okay you can see right here so you need to lift up okay like that there is four ends holding it oh, this one went back in okay perfect and now this one went in that's crazy okay and we have two more on the front after that that we'll need to do the same procedure okay you can see where it gets stuck here okay like that that cable on the bottom you just pull it to the side okay and it's gonna come out might give you a little bit of hard time but it will come out okay and it came out we can pull it out like that okay this one is out of the way now the big one is the one that the, is really hard to remove and you'll see why now we need to disconnect all the wires there okay and now we will lift it up we have that okay let me turn it now a little bit we have that bolt right here which i'll need to get light for so you can see better okay this one right there and we need to remove that that retainer that's holding it there with a screwdriver you need to pry that thing out without damaging the teeth that hold it okay right there you can see it came out that's what it looks like we need to push that bolt towards the back now okay you can see where it's sticking out on this side right here so just with the screwdriver you can push it out okay like that next you can pull that assembly here guys okay hold on now a second we need to shift it here i mean we need to remove the cable from here you will need to go up okay because it's uh, it's holding a little bit so we will need to get that rubber thing out of there okay like that okay so the cable can go up now it's important okay to push that thing in here okay look at that thing this here so that way 
Okay, when you pull it, pu push it in. Okay, so if you grab that thing, you can pull the shifter to the back and after that, you're going to pull it up. Okay, like that. You can see guys, the bottom piece came out. Now, <laughs> yes, we are stuck here with the cable now. That we still have more to mess with now. Now with a Phillips screwdriver and a hammer, we are going to hammer that thing out carefully. Just gently push it out. Okay, and once we remove it, we'll come back to videoing so I can hold it a little bit better with two hands. Maybe. Oh, it started coming out. Okay, it still needs more. Okay, it went in actually. You can see, I mean, went out all the way. Okay, that's how it was. It's important to remember how to install it. Okay, and let's see now how we're going to do that now. Okay, you need to make sure that the cable stays there. Then you need to pull this one all the way until, okay, you can see that notch here, okay? And then you will need to pry the bottom out. Okay, like that, look at that. Okay, so remember how you took everything apart, okay? And that's how it is, guys, that's how you disconnect the cable if you need to replace it. And the shifter knob assembly, you put everything back together because when you buy one on eBay or a used one, they tend to cut those off and you need to replace it, which is a bitch, but now you know how to do it. So that's how you guys disconnect it, that's how you replace it. We'll have a video to put the uh, gear shifter together. It's in the video, it's, it will be called the one that you remove and replace the gear shifter. So we'll cover how to put everything together if you need help. Otherwise, you can just watch it uh, and do everything in reverse order. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and see you next time.